what is up guys, one step up here and today I'll be showing you guys another variation of Graveyard Splash deck. So obviously it has the Bowler, the Dragon, the Tornado. All these units are the troops doing splash damage plus the poison. And the high DPS is obviously Skeletons and Mega Minions. And as you guys can see my troop levels aren't that high so I'm still at 44, 4400s. And I'm gonna show you guys a few replays before um, I jump in a few live matches. So I'm gonna show you guys a replay against the Hall Rider deck first, and he's a level 12. And usually you wanna start off with um, the Baby Dragon or Mega Minion in certain circumstances where you don't have anything. And also, what's the other card? Let me see the rotation, I'll tell you guys what, what are the best cards to start the game off with. So here I didn't play um, with the graveyard because his Valkyrie was there and he was already ready with his Electro Wiz plus Valkyrie so that would have been a waste of 6 elixir. It's definitely smart by me to not play um, the graveyard and a good poison by my opponent to chip away my Hog plus um, Electro Wiz. So I'm gonna play the Knight to defend against the Fire Spirits and I'm gonna use so I want to look at skeletons take that hog, but hog just gets one swing off. A bit late off a log by my opponent. And now I'm gonna go with um, the graveyard plus dragon push. And you all always want to keep the tornado in hand whenever um, you go for the dragon and graveyard push. So try to hover your, your tornado in front of the tower so that way the baby dragon splashes on the troops as well as the tower. So that's double value. And the bowler doing work there. I think I'm gonna leave this bowler alone because I don't have graveyard. So let it do stuff by its own, leave it to himself. And fire spirits does kill the bowler. And I'm gonna go knight to soak up the damage and go to tornado. Usually you want to pull it, pull the hog one tile above where I placed. That's the best place, like the king tower, and count two tiles above. That's the best place for the hog to be pulled. And baby dragon defend the, against those um, goblin gang, and a big counter push coming in with the hog, with the bowler and baby dragon tower hitting the bowler and skeletons doing work. So his tower is down to 563, wow, pretty pretty good. And I'm gonna go Mega Minion on this side to defend against those Fear Goblins. And again I pull, this is the tile that you really want to pull the Graveyard. And now I'm gonna go aggressively to Baby Dragon and the Graveyard. And I think from this push the tower should go down, yeah. So you can see the power of Baby Dragon and Graveyard alone. Just two troops, like you're spending 6 plus 4, 10 elixir and tower is already like down. 5 seconds remaining, all you gotta do is defend. And he does not have a good win condition. This deck is generally really strong against Hog Riders and Lava Loon. Because um, Lava Loon, you can pull the Balloon plus Lava behind. And the Hog Rider, you can always pull it to the King's Tower. And once the King's Tower is activated, it does a lot of work. So the next replay is against Lava Hunter and note that he has a level 13 minion horde but it's not gonna do much just because I have dragon plus the tornado. And that's gonna easily shut down the minion horde even if it's level 13, the max level. And here I start the dragon in the right side and he starts his Lava Loon, I mean his Lava Hound in the left side. So definitely advantage for me because he spent 7 elixir on the left side and I'm going with 10 elixir on the right side and he's not gonna have enough elixir to defend that on graveyard he's definitely gonna log that I think if he doesn't his tower is gonna suffer a lot of damage so he doesn't he should have logged there and look at this I poisoned and tornadoed all those troops got shut down lava pups and the minion horde so, so much value in that mm -hmm. and just got a YouTube no notification. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the knight again, I think. And he's gonna start with the tombstone. 
so let's wait and see. Okay, so I'm going aggressive with the, um, I mean the baby dragon and the graveyard. Tower locked on to the dragon and skeletons will definitely take that tower down. So I put the Mega Minion beforehand because they know that he has, um, he's in a shortage of elixir. So tornado, pretty okay, but um, his miner came in clutch just because my tower re targeted to that miner and the Mega Minion plus the Lava Pups doing a lot of work. So my tower is down to 873, but I'm not too worried because I'm not gonna make that same mistake again. Since I know that he has a miner now, I'm gonna play more precautiously. Um, I go Baby Dragon here, a few minions escape to, towards the right. And again, those minions chipping in my tower, tower already down to 258. And I think he has no way to take that right, my right side, because he has to take my left tower down. Because it's not worth playing Lava Hound in the, in the right side of mine, because if he goes for the right side, he has to go for the Tree Crown, or else it's just a waste of time. So, a big stack of troops on the left lane from my side to counter the Lava Hound. And Minion Horde, definitely not a worry because the Lava Hound is gonna pop pop any moment and I'm gonna pull everything into the poison and they're just gonna get shredded. My bowler is coming in. He's going aggressive Lava Hound. Um, that's what you wanna generally want what you wanna do. So he's gone with the fireball because 10 seconds remaining and he goes with the lock. So this definitely set him back six elixir. And that's basically GG because um, you're not gonna have enough elixir to defend. And here I use tornado instead of poison because I still have my baby dragon plus my mega minion to do work. And I'm going all in here because I know that he's way behind in the elixir. So that's gonna be tower down. GG, well played against the lava hunt there. Um, so I'm not sure if there's any more replays to show you guys against. Um, Hog is definitely back into the meta. Definitely seeing so many Hog Rider play players. So we're gonna jump into a live match and hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate this deck um, better so that you guys have a better understanding of this deck. So with this starting hand, definitely I'm gonna start with the Knight behind without wasting any Elixir. And so he sends in a hawk. I wish I had a tornado. That would have been really, really good. So if he doesn't zap this, it's gonna be good for me. Now I'm gonna go with knight. So this is gonna be a good counter push. And unfortunately, he has an inferno. And he's defending with a musketeer in ice spirit. So the skeleton's gonna do quite a bit of damage. Not that much though, because the inferno, the ice spirit, and a lot of other troops helped out. Okay, so now this is the place that you want to pull the hog here. So the hog doesn't get a swing off and it should activate the king's tower. And that's exactly what you want to do because that's really big because the king's tower helps a lot. And now I'm gonna start with the knight again. Go slow. And hopefully, okay, so he's gonna play that. I'm gonna play skeletons. And I'm going to play this and then drag in here and I'm going to pull everything to the dead zone so in this zone all the three towers shoots the hog and the hog doesn't get a swing off pretty decent defense there and can the knight get a hit off wow it didn't get a hit almost but it didn't so again I'm gonna, just going to start with the knight behind play slow it's not yet double elixir time, but I think I can play it a bit in front just because 10 seconds remain. And... Okay, so he's trying to go... Is he trying to defend? Okay, really good play by him though. Stopping my push right away. I'm gonna go bowler here because I feel he's gonna go hog, but he's going hog in the opposite lane. Again, I'm gonna pull the hog right here so it does not get a swing off. I'll go Knight here to take down that Musketeer and now I'm gonna go Graveyard. Um, okay, I can go Poison right now. 
take that musketeer down plus the skeletons and my skeletons doing a pretty good job I'm gonna pull again the tornado okay that was a bit slightly misplaced should have been a bit more towards the center but that's all right um, pretty much equal on damage um, I'm gonna play baby dragon right now and Mega Minion take that musketeer down play a few skeletons and turn this into a good counter push. Now I can use my Inferno, I mean my um, Tornado if he plays anything else. But I think that's GG. Okay, yeah, that's GG. Well played. So let me check where am I, where am I at at the trophies. Plus 28. And right now, 44, 43. So um, my highest trophy is at 44, 93. So hopefully I can break this record. Um, in the coming few days, I just played this deck. I used to play a different variation, which I showed you guys in the previous video, and also another variation which has the Inferno Tower instead of the Knight. And what was it instead of the Poison? I'm not really sure, but definitely this variation of a deck works pretty pretty well. And big thanks to my clanmate called Mayfair. He gave me a lot of valuable tips on this deck and that's definitely helping me out and he suggested me to play this, his variation of this deck and it's been working pretty well for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below if you need any help in any decks and also don't forget, forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like these. I'm one step up now. See you guys in the next video. Peace.